Phantom Wing episode 29. I'm not watching this episode with subtitles, so I'm sorry ahead of time. We're already at a political conference. Crap. Shh. Okay, so we got Rolina at that political conference that I mentioned, and she's talking about peace. Peace is the only way. Peace is the way. But it's not about just giving people absolute freedom to do whatever they want. We have to... We still have to be there for them. Everyone's really impressed with Relina and they applaud her. You're so good at, at talking about peace, Relina. Okay, so the peace crafts are currently aligned with the Roma Filler Foundation, which is Oz-ish. This is why it's so hard to keep track of who's who. Meanwhile, a group of guys have found um, abandoned spacecrafts and abandoned spacesuits, which I believe is Catra and Hero. Yeah, okay, Catra and Hero are hanging out. And Hero's really good with animals. And Hero's like, you play with the animals, Catra. They love you. Catra's like, I'm so distracted. But then he goes off and he frolics with the puppies anyway. So they've been found by the guys who were looking for them. I believe they're Romafeller guys who are like, sorry, but we have to turn you in. It's our orders. I don't know. I don't know if I like the Hero and Catra ally situation. I liked Hero and Troa. That was good. Hero and Duo was good. Hero and Catra just doesn't work for me. Meanwhile, some other guys have found a carrier- Oh, Sally! <laughs> it's been a while since we saw her. She's like, no, I won't surrender. I'd rather crash my carrier into the ocean. And she does that. Oh, here's Noin. And she's witnessing Sally being captured by soldiers. Turns out in the carrier was a Gundam. Um, Hero's Gundam, I think? That's the one she was looking for, right? So the soldiers dive down to go look into the carrier to see what's inside, looking for a Gundam. But in the meanwhile, uh, Noin attacks the mansion that Sally is in, and she's like, Hey, what's inside that carrier? We're on the same side, so we should work together. So now Noin and Sally are teaming up! I agree. This is a good way, this is a good path to send Sally down, to get her some focus. Okay, yeah, so Noin and Sally dive down to get the Gundam from the carrier, and it is Hero's Gundam, Zero One. So Sally and Noin are totally, like, 100% understanding each other. Meanwhile, back with Hero and Catra. Hero is hacking into computers, as he does, and he learns about how people are looking for Zero One, and Catra's like, Oh, Zero One, that's your Gundam, right? And Hero's like, Yeah, awkward. Hero says, Let's go, Catra. We gotta go now and they get into some large carriers, and they're off. They don't, they don't, they don't have Gundams. Okay, all right, no, 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 it's fine. I'm still watching. So of course, Catra leaves a note behind to apologize to the guys who originally found them. Like, sorry, we're escaping. Lol, I mean, you were supposed to take us in, but this is what happened. <laughs> Catra is so precious. As I'm saying this, he's of course standing there with a machine gun shooting people. I mean, come on, Catra. Just working against the image I'm trying to paint of you here. Okay, so Catra and Hero have arrived at the place where Zero One is, where Sally and Noin are also fighting to get it, and Romafeller is fighting to get it, and everyone just wants this Gundam so much. So yeah, Catra and Hero successfully break in with just machine guns. They send all the soldiers off into life rafts. Bye by Catra's orders, because Hero would have killed them, but Catra's like, no, no, let's leave them alone and send them off into lifeboats. <laughs> See, this is why they don't work as a team. They just don't work. Okay, so Noin and Sally find Zero One, and Noin is like, thanks, Sally. That's great. I'm going to use this to help the Sand Kingdom. And Sally's like, great. I trust you so much. And she's gonna apparently go off and look for another Gundam, which must be Troas, right? the only other Gundam, right? Oh, uh, meanwhile, eyebrows! Eyebrows is wearing Relina's school's school uniform. She knows about the Sand Kingdom, she knows about the Gundams, she... she's got eyebrows that are out of control. Right, and she's a relative of Duke Dermale, according to Relina's extremely talented butler. So Eyebrows goes to meet up with Relina, and her name is Dorothy. I can't help but drawing parallels between Dorothy and Oz. I can't help it. She's there on behalf of the Romafeller Foundation to meet up with the Sand Kingdom, which is Relina, and she wants to, like, be a bridge of, 
Oh, why are they wearing the same school uniform? Relina and Dorothy have such different feelings. Dorothy loves wars. Relina hates them, apparently. So, Relina's butler is in direct contact with Noin, and she's like, look out for Dorothy. She's crazy. Noin is like the most fabulous character on the show. All right, so there wasn't any Wu Fei, Troa, or Duo in that episode. But that's okay. I knew Relina would be back, and I knew she'd be back intensely. And she's back with Noin, of course, because Noin and Relina are together because they're with Miliardo. Oh god, confusing! Alright, and now we got this new girl, Dorothy. Oh, she's out of control, and her eyebrows are so distracting. I'm not the only one who, like, looks at her and is like, eyebrows! Whoa! Anyway, up next is episode 30, 31, 32, and 33, Examination of Gundam Wing. I'll see you for that. Bye!